Alright guys, welcome back then. So, in this part we're going to be taking on Grimsby to start off with. And, um, yeah, in the last part we had three good games. Uh, we won all three in the end. Um, we've got a cup game coming up in this part, so we want to be on our toes for that one. And make sure that we've got a good fit squad for it. Um, enjoying the 4 3 3 at the moment, so it looks like they're playing the 4 3 3 as well, uh, Grimsby. Um, so we need to just make sure that we play as we've been playing, really. That's, that's all I can say. Just keep that going, what we've been doing so far. In a nice ocean view, by the looks of it, though. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, let's get this game underway then. Here we go. The crowd excited so, about this so Grimsby then. Um, yeah, I mean we've we've been doing really well, really really well. And oh, it's given away there. Um, I just want us to get some more points on the board and try and get as far ahead in the league as we can, if possible. Um, but uh, you know, the, the only bad result we've really had is the uh, is the Cambridge game, and even that game wasn't too bad in the end I guess uh, good ball there good ball can he beat the defender oh no he couldn't in the end but, um, no I mean we the squad we've got you know we're gonna be using this squad for a long time oh straight at the keeper there should have done better I think it's got the scenes up front with Convery and Clark so we've got all our free strikers on we have no more strikers we only have free strikers which is why I wanted to bring in an extra striker but we couldn't in the end so that was pretty bad but uh, oh well stuff happens and a good save and we're all over him straight away let's uh, swing this one in at the near post and it's going, it's going, oh, it's a way, it's a way, can we get it back in there though? No, McGurk is playing today, getting used to the squad, starting to get more used to it, and the, and the players. <laughs> and it's back in, and yes, it is there, and we are ahead, quite early on in this game. When he delivers one like that, it's it's mighty quick across the ground. No, that isn't a bad finish, is it? Come on. Let's just take a look back as to how that happened. Ali, what was your view? What a great team goal there, John. The passing and the movement was superb. Everybody knew their job. Great goal. Brilliant. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if this is the first team that we've played uh, where they're using the four-three-three as well as us. Um, so who knows? It might be difficult to play against. I mean, we're kind of fighting fire with fire here. So who knows? That's a good ball. It's a good ball. Oh, can he get the shot? No, he can't. It's cleared. Oh, and it's gone away for a goal kick. I could have sworn that should have been a corner. I don't know what's happened there. Now that's a really good place to win it back. Here we come again. Here we come again. And here we come. Is it going to be? Yes, it is. So what a goal. And this formation is paying off very well. Very, very well. Maybe a little overpowered. It's kind of like Pez 5 all over again this at the moment. You know, 4-3-3 is just too good. It's way too good. We need something that's a little bit harder to play with, I guess. <laughs> but um, we're 2-0 up. So, you know, if it gets a little too OP, I might just switch it back to 4-4-2 or something. I think probably the hardest formation to play with in this game is probably the the four five one I'd imagine, but uh, because like the way the game is really weird uh, in in the way that it, um oh we really should have made better use of that um, it's really weird in in the way that um for example uh, like the, the strikers kind of move forward and the midfielders kind of stay back and they don't they don't really make runs or anything like that and it's just as you can see right here it's just all the strikers like there's there's nothing else to it that's a good ball oh straight at the keeper should have been 
But yeah, no, at half time, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We're 2 0 up, looking comfortable. Um, Grimsby haven't even had a chance. Oh, here come Grimsby. Here they come. Here they come. And a good save from the keeper there. That was a magnificent stop there came out to it uh, it was debatable but he, there was a lot of room there that the that the striker had so if he got closer into the goal it may have been the case that he possibly may have scored if the keeper didn't come out the keeper come out and kind of like put him off over the bar there they want to get back into this that's obvious Oh, and it's back with them. And is that going to be... Oh, good defending. That was a last-minute challenge right there to get that one away. Got to uh, maybe try and bring out the goalkeeper here, I believe. And that would get the ball away. Will it? Yes, it will. Always seems to work, that tactic. <laughs> Plays it out of defence. Oh, here they come, here they come. Is it going to be? Oh, it's off target. It was close. No, and it's in, it's in. What a save that was. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, no, we could have easily conceded there. We haven't really had any any chances since the second goal, to be honest. You know what I mean? Uh, they've, they're playing a little bit stronger, I think, at the back. That's way off. Not a lot I could have done there. No, our passing has been a little bit off in this game, and... Uh, well, we're still winning and it's the 89th minute. As long as we keep the ball in the last minute, I think we should be fine here. But that's unbelievable. We shouldn't have let that one in. They've been, they've performed a lot better in the second half, Grimsby, though. I'll give them that. And uh, they probably even deserve that goal. If our passing's been sloppy. Oh, that's a good move. A good move there. Can he whip this one in? It's coming in. Uh, is it going to be? It's gathered up by the keeper. I think as soon as the ball goes up the field, it should be it, though. And it is. We have won yet another game. It's lucky that we got those couple of goals then. Because uh, if not, could have been bad. Alright then guys, so we are back and we're in the cup this time. Last time in the cup we played Plymouth and we got through, but this time we're going to be taking on Ipswich, so we've got a tough opposition here. Um, this, will, this is our biggest test yet, so I've pretty much kept the same squad from the last um, match. Uh, apart from one change there, uh, Coglan or Colan, or I don't know how I pronounce it, but he's uh, he's in the squad because his form is really good and he's actually really happy, so I'm going to add him into the squad. I'm just going to keep things as they are. Um, it will be a tough test, but hopefully we can get through, and if we get through, we're probably more than likely going to have um, a Premier League opposition if that does happen. Here we are! Oh, could have been 1-0 already! I'm going to swing this one at the, at the near post as usual. Let's see if we can get a goal here. Can we? Can we? And uh, he didn't hit it. And is that going to be? Is it going to be? Oh, it was so close. Here's Clark. 
Oh, it's away again. Oh, we've won it back. We've won it back. Well done, Toscar Tassini there. What can we do? Can we do it? Oh, it's way off target. In the end. If anything, I need to avoid penalties. Because <laughs> penalties in this game... Can he... I mean, penalty shootouts are pretty much 50-50, whatever game you're playing. But to be honest, in this game... Uh, there's so many hacks, honestly, <laughs> that the the computer just guesses everything, and it's just uh, it's so annoying. Oh, way off target. Now the supporters standing on the terraces or sitting in the seats as it is these days, they like to sing. They have their favourite club chants. Does this ever get to the players? Can they hear them? Oh, of course they can hear. Them. The players can hear them. And I'd be lying if I said the players love them. That's that's part and parcel of being a professional football player. I used to love the big games, John, where the atmosphere was great, and your and, and your own team fans were singing your name and chanting and supporting your team. But did I say it? You could hear some of the other shouts as well from the opposition fans. And I, you know, I have to be honest, I did quite enjoy that as well. You know, <laughs> right forward. No, oh, that's great. That's brilliant. Oh, it's away. That was a good chance there that we had. Half time then, um, no goals yet, but we're looking the better team. And here we are, can we whip this one in? Can we? Oh, it's going to be at the keeper. Oh, surely! Yes, it is! That's the pass we were looking for. That is what we were looking for. Just that one pass through their defence. Just to put one guy in there, it doesn't matter who. And then just to bury it like that. Perfect. Free kick given. I think we might as well just go for a shot on this one. Lay off and shot. That will do, I believe. If we can get it over the wall, that is. We probably just want to put a bit of spin on it. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I think we've got it, you know. But can we score? Oh, good save. What a shot. Oh, here come Ipswich. They've got men forward. Scartasini, is he just gonna? He's just gonna try and run it into the corner here, just for a bit. Ah, oh, it's away though. Just waste a little bit of time. Can we get this one away? Yes. No, we can't. We can't. But it's back away again. Oh, we've lost it. That could be bad. It could be bad. Goalkeeper gathers. Oh, and another terrible ball. Oh, please no. Please no. It's away. That's a good save. That might just keep us in this one. And here we come. And it's in. Scartasini can't get to it. We really do need to waste a bit of time here. We think we've got this one if we just keep it. Oh, and there's one last attack for Ipswich here, though. But there isn't. That is full time. And we have beaten the Championship Club. How about that, then, at home? That is excellent. That's what we wanted to happen. And we got it in the end. We're going through to round three. And we're going to find out who we've got. Alright, so some of the, the results here. Chelsea gotten through, West Brom, Manchester City have gotten through. 
Uh, Reading, Leeds, Newcastle, only 1 0 against Hartlepool. Uh, Crystal Palace, Norwich, uh, Blackburn have been knocked out by Burnley on penalties, so one Premier League team knocked out there. Uh, Hull have gone through there, I always look out for Hull. Uh, Mansfield have beaten Aston Villa 2 1, that's quite incredible. The uh, Portsmouth have beaten Lincoln's, so all the Premier League teams going through. Uh, Everton uh, have gone away and won. Cardiff, Swansea. Uh, Watford have gone crashing out to Swindon. Arsenal have gone through against Bournemouth. Uh, West Ham have gone through. Leicester have gone out. Sunderland have gone out to Tranmere. Uh, Sheffield United have gone out to Boston, who are like bottom of our league. <laughs> uh, Fulham have gone through. Port Vale. Uh, Middlesbrough have gone through. Charlton have gone crashing out. Uh, Manchester United have gone through, Stoke have gone through against Wigan, Torquay have gone through against Birmingham, finally Tottenham have been knocked out by Wolves, that's quite a shock result there, and Liverpool have only gone through 1-0, so let's find out who we've got in the third round. Chelsea against West Brom, Manchester City against Reading, Leeds are against Newcastle, uh, Crystal Palace, Norwich, Burnley, Mansfield, so a lower league tie there, Hull City, Portsmouth... <laughs> We're still on there. Arsenal, Chester, uh, Swansea, Swindon, Everton, Cardiff. Holding our breath. They were not popping up though. Tramia, Boston, then West Ham, Fulham, Port Vale. And we've got Millsborough. We do have Premier League opposition then. We are at home for that one though uh, as well. So that's not too bad. We could turn over Millsborough if we play well. Um, Stoke, Manchester United there, and fully, finally, uh, Wolves just knocked out Tottenham are playing Liverpool. Uh, finally, guys, we do have enough points to up our fitness coach here, so if we go ahead and do that, as you can see, we have one star on our fitness coach now, so fitness should improve, so I'm going to try and get the finance up uh, is for my next thing, so that's very nice. Well, to end off this episode, then, we're going to be taking on Boston United. We're away for this one. Um... In an attempt to keep some of my players uh, happy, I have taken off a couple of my defenders and put uh, Valentine on, because he's always unhappy for some reason, and I've put one of my other defenders on. I can't quite remember his name. His name should pop up in a second. Um, I think it was close, and I've put, I've put him on just for the simple fact that he's unhappy, and I don't want to kind of get my job security down or anything. Uh, Colan is still in there as well and uh, my three main strikers are up front. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can end off this episode with 100% wins. As you can hear from the crowd, they're already up for it. It's uh, going to be a You know, we've day. had a couple of great results and uh, I don't I haven't really had a look ahead to when we're playing Middlesbrough. I should probably look that up to see when we are playing them so I can prepare for that, but uh, in the meantime, we're just going to focus on this game and worry about that a little bit later. Um but yeah. So, if we can win here, you know, if we do beat Middlesbrough though, you know, by some sort of miracle. I've got, I've got kind of a bad feeling about it, but if we do beat them and we do get through, you know, more than likely going to get another Premier League team. Though, though, though there is some lower league team still in that um, in that cup, so you never know. Hopefully, we'd get one of those. But uh, cups not really the priority. But if we can win the cup, you know, it's always great um, for us to do that. And, oh, Kelling effort gone out. Scartacini, who got the winning goal in the last game. Wainwright. And we're still without a goal here. Whoa, that was such a shot. I cannot believe that one. Having a little bit of trouble here against Boston, but... Uh, I'm not worrying just yet. Um, they are playing very solid at the back. They're not allowing our players to run in there. I think what we might have to do in that case is we might have to play a little bit wider and uh, see if we can get an aerial ball into the box and score that way. And ooh, that was close. That could have easily been a goal. Uh, it was a good bit of play from them. Once again, defence tightens up in there. Oh, and is that going to be? Oh, he couldn't get to it in time. It could have been if he did, though, possibly. McCann. 
Needs a good cross here. Oh, yes. oh, and that's bad. That's really bad, but the goalkeeper's going to gather. Price has been so good in goal for us. Um, our other goalkeeper hasn't seen anything. That's going to go wide. And it's in! Oh, it just kind of shaved the post a little. And that's going to be the half-time whistle. Um, honestly, honestly, I think, to be honest, we're best off just leaving things as they are. Because we've looked good, but they've also kind of looked quite good. <laughs> so... I don't know, it's a debatable one. Here's the shot. Oh, just wide. Let's the ball go. From Clark there. This is a real Oh, that was close. Very close. Oh, that is a brilliant ball. That is brilliant. And it's in. Oh, so close. It was a brilliant little move. It's a shame we couldn't finish that one. Going to make one substitute here. Um, just bringing off one of my centre backs because he needed subbing off pretty much. It's in. It's in. Oh, it's a good save. Can we make some of this? Oh, it came back to him. That's what I mean, though, by uh, by the um, if like the the man you're trying to pass it into doesn't get a hold of it, you know, you can just kind of do that, and it can sometimes pay off if if the the man standing in front of him kind of wins it. Um, we got the shot away, but we didn't score. Well, they're handling everything that's thrown at them. Super we just can't <laughs> get an inch of the goal at all. We just really can't nice just pass. have that one shot that oh, might just... I mean, we had one or two shots, but, you know, that, that one shot that's going to win us the game, you know, no is what I mean. He's... Oh, we did well to get that one. That was brilliant, player. Good forward pass from the defender. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Oh, is that going to go out? No, it's not. I'm going to make another substitute. That shot that we had earlier did come off the bar. It was too high in the end. It probably would have been a goal if not. That's going to be offside. I better look at the offside then. Oh, there's some good football on view there. And, oh, he had the space, just wasn't enough. 87 minutes gone here, can we, can we get one? It's going to have to be now though, we've won the ball back. Nope, and Boston have got it, can they make something of it? I hope not. This is probably... Oh, well, that's it. It's game over. Well, that was a difficult game, that. That was a struggle. We just couldn't make anything in the end. We hit the bar, and that was the closest we came. But it's still a point in the bag, so it's not a defeat. But uh, a toughed-out draw. So, looking at the league table, then, we're on 21 points. We are uh, 10 games in now, and uh, we've only lost one game, and we're still two points ahead of Wickham. Uh, the only worrying, kind of worrying thing there is that Rochdale do still have a game in hand. If they win that, they'll be on the same amount of points as us, but they don't have the goal difference. Um, Bristol Rovers uh, have also got a game in hand. Southend, if they win both of their games, they could move up to uh, 21 points as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the top half there. Moving down to the bottom, 
As you can see there, uh, Cheltenham are dead last, uh, along with Oxford there. I believe it's the bottom four that get relegated, but I don't believe there's relegation because there is no co uh, conference in this game. So yeah, um, Swansea are t got 10 there, They're doing really bad Swansea. Alright then guys, so this is what it looks like in the next episode then. So we've just beaten Boston, uh, well we didn't beat Boston, but we drew against Boston. Um, next up we've got a home game against Oxford who are near to dead last in the league uh, we're going to be away at Northampton and finally we're going to be taking on Leighton Orient away in the next episode so anyway guys thank you for watching this episode and I will see you guys next time when we take on Oxford, Northampton and Leighton Orient see you guys then